Hello, this is Dampro. Welcome to part 7C of my Rigify tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show some optional methods to parenting uh, our mesh to our rigs. And also, I don't think I've actually shown how to properly de delete a uh, rig from the scene uh, before we generate a new one. So um, we can actually do this in a little bit cleaner way rather than just selecting it and deleting it out. Um, sometimes when you um, generate a new rig from the meta rig in your file it will just automatically overwrite that rig and other times I found that it will give you errors so I like to manually delete that rig out of the scene before I generate a new one uh, just to avoid uh, any problems so let's start with that right now deleting a rig uh, out of a file so in order to delete the rig out of a file before we generate a new one we we'll want that rig to be um, in object mode then we could simply type X and delete it uh, the problem with doing it like that um, is we're gonna leave behind a broken armature modifier on our mesh so let me just do control Z to undo that get my rig back so before I delete the rig I want to make sure that I have my meshes um, I want to unparent them from the mesh so I'm going to uh, turn on these top two scene layers that's where all the meshes that I've currently have attached to that rig reside I'm going to select them all to alt P clear parent and now if I select that body mesh you can see that uh, blender took that armature modifier off there for me so and it did it on all the meshes um, that had that armature modifier all right now I am free to select this rig and delete it without any problems and I can get my meta rig and generate a new one so I'll just quickly pause this while I generate a new rig all right, my new rig has been generated. I'm going to move that to um, this layer directly underneath my regular body meshes. I'll turn off, turn that layer on, turn off my layer with uh, the meta rig, turn back on my body meshes. All right, so now I've got a new rig. Let me go to pose mode of it. Let me actually just kind of finagle these things a little bit, change my rig layers and rig main properties around a little bit. And also, I want to turn on um, X-ray so I can see all my rig controls through the mesh. All right, now it's time to reparent our meshes back to um, our newly generated rig, and we can do this in a little bit cleaner way. So I'm actually going to show you quickly what I'm talking about. If I select this hair deform mesh here, and you see under my vertex data group and vertex groups, I only have deformation um, vertex groups for specific uh, deformation bones. So in this case, only the hair lock and ponytail bones. So uh, it would actually, if we parent with automatic weights, um, Blender will actually make a vertex group for every single deformation bone in the rig. So in this case, we have just this ponytail or just this hair deformed mesh. We don't want all the deformation bones for the face and the body and things like that. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a cleaner way to get just the deformation bones that we want added to the mesh. All right, so before I parent uh, all these meshes, I actually want to, uh, just to show this method, I'm going to clean out all these vertex groups that are currently on all of these meshes. So I'm gonna delete the groups on the Eve body mesh. I'm gonna select the underwear mesh, delete those groups as well. And I only have three meshes here that are actually using an armature deform modifier. I'm gonna delete the groups off that hair deform mesh as well. All right, now I can reparent here, and I can do it in a little bit cleaner way. I'm going to select my Eve body mesh, shift select any bone in that armature while it's in pose mode. You can actually do this in object mode too, but I prefer to be in pose mode all the time. All right, I'm going to set parent to armature to form. I'm not going to use empty groups or automatic weights. So armature to form, and what that is going to do is parent my mesh to the rig, and it's going to add an armature modifier for me. I'm going to turn on preserve volume in my edit mode toggles and also place my armature modifier in the correct spot in the stack which is below my mirror modifier and above my subsurf. All right now for the cleaner method to get only the vertex groups that I want for this body mesh because I don't want um, my deformation uh, groups for these hair locks or the ponytail. Let me turn on, let me select my uh, armature I'm going to go to armature panel and turn on only this third to last layer, which is my deformation bones. So in order to simplify things too, when I uh, show my weight painting method, I am actually going to hide my def buttocks bones. Hide those. I'm going to hide the breast and, whoops, breast and scapula bones as well. And also 
like I mentioned before, I don't want my body mesh being affected by these ponytail deformation bones, so I'm going to hide them. And then I'm going to select these hairlock bones here. And I'm just holding shift while I'm selecting, selecting those chains of bones here. And you can see what I have selected down here if you trying to follow along. I'm going to hide these as well. Alright. Now that those bones are hidden, I can select my body mesh, go to weight paint mode, and typing A, I will reselect all of those bones. So basically all those bones that I haven't hidden are going to be selected now. I'm going to go to weights, and I'm going to assign automatic from these bones. And now only the vertex groups that I have um, unhidden here and selected will be added to my mesh. One thing I want to point out before I do this, this is actually not going to work and the reason it's not going to work well is because of this mirror modifier. Now I've mentioned this before that there are some tools that just don't work well if you are using a mirror modded mesh so I do want to show you what will happen uh, when I do this assign automatic from bones with a mirror modded mesh so I'm going to go ahead and do this assign automatic from these selected bones and we're probably going to see some pretty funky um, results here. So, yeah, on this Def Thigh O2 on the left side, I actually have some weights on the right side of the leg. And that's, you know, there's that's what I was talking about, where sometimes this stuff just doesn't work. All right, yeah, I've actually got, <laughs> for the arm, the left arm over here, I've got um, weights all the way on the right side over here. So, this isn't really going to be a big problem. All we need to do is apply our mirror modifier, and we can also uh, cut this mesh back in half later and uh, get it back to a mirror modded mesh uh, when we're using other tools. So I'm just going to apply this mirror modifier. Then in uh, object mode, let me select that body mesh, go back to my vertex groups and re-delete these. Now I can go back to weight paint mode reselect all those bones and have it um, automatically weight those bones to a non-mirror modded mesh and it's going to give me a lot better results here so I'm not going to have those opposite weird things happen all the way on the opposite side of the mesh here so yep that's m much cleaner and much nicer and also because I've hidden those extra bones that I did not want vertex groups for, they are not in my list here. So let me sort by name, and we can just look here real quick. Where's my H's? Okay, hand. There's no uh, deaf hair bones. And under my P's, there's no deaf uh, ponytail bones. So much cleaner way to auto weight with only the vertex groups that we want for that specific mesh. So. Now we have auto-weighted that mesh. Let's just rinse and repeat this for our other ones so we can reparent everything um, back to our rig. I'm going to select my hair to form mesh. I've actually separated uh, this hair into two different um, meshes. One is hair scalp, and because the scalp hair isn't really going to deform, I can actually just parent this directly to my head bone. So I'm going to select that hair scalp mesh, shift select that head bone, control P, and set parent directly to that bone because that isn't going to deform. Now with my hair deform mesh, this mesh has all of the locks in the front and the ponytail on the back and this is going to be parented with armature deform so I'm going to select that. Let me just select one of these uh, deformation bones to do Alt H to unhide these because I'm going to need these bones here. Alright so I'm going to select hair deform mesh, shift select any bone in the armature and I only have my deformation bones um, visible right now. I can set parent again with armature deform. Now it is parented that hair deform uh, mesh is parented to my rig and it added my armature modifier. I want to turn on preserve volume, edit mode toggles and put it in the correct spot. And now I can select the bones that I want to add vertex groups for. So I'm going to select these four ponytail bones in the back def ponytail 001 through 004 and also just holding shift here I'm going to reselect these hair lock bones or hair lock chains alright now with those selected I'm going to do control I to invert my selection and now I can hide all these other bones in the rig so I only have the hair and the ponytail bones uh, the deaf hair and ponytail bones um, visible alright I'm going to select my hair deform mesh go to weight paint mode type A 
to white up all of my selected bones there, the ones I wish to add vertex groups for, and weights assigned automatic from bones, and really quickly it automatically weighted them for me. Let me go back to object mode, and under my vertex groups, you can see I've got a very clean group of deformation uh, vertex groups. Only the hair bones, none of the facial deformation bones or any of the body bones. So, once again, this is a very clean way to do things. Alright, I'm going to select one of those um, deformation bones again and do Alt H to unhide everything. Now, I'm actually going to parent um, this underwear mesh with automatic weights because uh, later, I, after I do a few rounds of weight painting, I'm going to transfer these weights um, to that mesh. So, I'm not really going to worry about the extraneous vertex groups for now. I just want it to move um, with my rig just to keep her covered for this YouTube tutorial series. Control P. I'm just going to do it with automatic weights and I'm not going to worry about these extraneous vertex groups here. So I can actually hide that body mesh now that it's parented. I can hide um, my underwear mesh. I can hide my scalp since that is parented. I can also hide my hair deform mesh since that is parented with automatic weights now. And this uh, ponytail scrunchy thing, I just think I just want to parent that directly to the deaf head bone. So I'm going to select that, shift select that deaf head bone, control P, and I can parent that directly to that bone and then hide it. Work my way through my um, different meshes here. Now I need to actually turn on my facial controls here. I'm going to temporarily turn off um, my deformation bones. Let me see here. Where is that located? It's located on the head layer. Alright, so this circular um, shape right here is the teeth top and the one underneath it is for teeth bottom. I'm going to directly parent the teeth top, my teeth upper um, mesh to this teeth top, teep, teeth top bone if I can say it. Alright, so select the mesh, shift select that bone, control P. I'm going to parent it directly to the bone and I'll just hide that mesh. So teeth lower, I'm going to parent that to the teeth bottom bone, control P. Set parent to bone. Just make sure that that works well. All right, I can hide that. For the eyes, um, for the Pitchy Poi super face, the Pitchy Poi um, facial rig, um, I actually need to select my rig and turn on the second to last layer, which is uh, where all the MCH bones are. So on the Pitchy Poi rig, you actually want to parent your eye mesh to a bone in the MCH layer. So that second to last layer, I'll show you the bone right here, is called MCHI.L. So that is where the eye mesh needs to be parented to. And you can see it's kind of right in the middle here and it's got this funny little bone uh, pointed right on the end here. So select our mesh, polyeyes.L. And if, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I actually went ahead and um, modeled a new eye for Eve. I'm going to shift select that MCHI.L bone, control P, set bone, set parent to the bone. Now I want to rinse and repeat for the right side here. Let's see if I can get at an angle where I can easily select this MCHI.R bone. So poly I.R, shift select. Oops, and I didn't get it. I need to select this bone right there. So MCHI.R. Control P, set parent to bone. And now, my look at target here, if I grab it, it should move my eyes. Uh, my eyes are parented correctly. I can actually hide these, work my way. There's only a couple more meshes here left. All right, I'm going to select my eyelash mesh. Let me just delete my vertex groups here. Let me do that same thing for the eyebrow mesh too. Again, I just want to show this method here don't have my armature, I haven't parented these yet. I'm going to select my rig so I can get back to only my deformation bones. So armature panel, third to last layer, that's my deformation bones. Alright, I'm going to select my eyelash m mesh, if I don't move that here. Shift select any bone in the armature and I only have the deformation bones visible. Control P, armature deform. Now I want to select only these bones that are ringing the eye here. So these are the wid bones, wid top and wid bottom. You can see their names down here. I'm going to select just these. Oops. On the left side. And then I can reselect these on the right. 
just these ones that are going around that eye. Once again, control I to invert my selection, H to hide, and now, did I parent this already? Yep, I parented it with armature form. I need to put my armature in the correct spot, turn on preserve volume. Yep, make sure I'm parented to the rig. All right, perfect. I can go to weight paint mode, select those eye deformation bones for the lid, and assign automatic from bones, and I should be set. All right. One more mesh to do here. Let me actually get this out of object mode, or back to object mode, out of weight paint mode. I'm going to select one of these bones so I can do Alt H and unhide everything again. So I'll need to select a different set of bones for my eye wood mesh, or my eye lash, uh, eye brown mesh rather. One of these times I will learn how to talk. All right, so I think these eyebrow um, deformation bones, as well as these forehead bones, are probably going to have some effect uh, for that. I can actually delete some of those the eyebrow bones if they don't seem very useful later. Let me see here. Is it this one? Yeah. So once again, Control I invert my selection, H to hide. And I think that's a good selection for that eyebrow mesh. Let me just hide that. Um, the eyelashes here temporarily. So I'm going to select my eyebrow mesh, shift select one of those deformation bones, control P, armature deform. Once again, I want to put my armature modifier in the correct spot before I do anything. Preserve volume, edit mode toggles, and now I can go to weight paint mode, select all of these deformation bones that are going to affect th those eyebrows. Weights automatic from bones, and pretty easy and that we are done. We've now reattached all of our meshes to um, our rig and we've also done it in a lot cleaner with a lot cleaner method here so all of these um, meshes that are using armature deform have a clean group of vertex groups so no extraneous ver vertex groups in there. So and now that we've attached all of our meshes back to our rig, we can get into some weight painting and weight painting methods. So until next time, good luck.